How do you write a short story or flash fiction piece? Why would you want to write a short story instead of a novel? Well, before we answer that, let's define what a flash fiction story and a short story is. A flash fiction story takes place in 500 words or less, and a short story is about 1,000 words to 30,000 words. For this video, I'll be using the term short story for both flash fiction and short story because what I'm talking about is a short, short story. Probably um, about 1,000 words to maybe 5,000 words because the process for writing a story that short is also the same for writing a flash fiction piece. Once it gets about 10,000 words, it becomes more like the process of writing a novel. So we'll be focusing on um, writing something about 500 words, 1,000, you know, just a couple thousand words. Now that you know what a short story is, why would you want to write one instead of a novel? I mean, novels are the ones that get all the attention. You don't see your friends walking around with a collection of short stories, talking about them as excitedly as they did The Hunger Games. You don't see a flash fiction piece getting turned into a movie. But you also don't see any unfinished novels getting turned into movies. And that's usually what happens if you jump straight into trying to write an 80,000 or 100,000 novel without any practice beforehand. Starting small will save you the trouble of getting lost in a larger story, of becoming frustrated and then giving up altogether. If you start with a short story, it lets you build your skills until you're ready to move on to something larger. First, you need an idea. It needs to be a very simple idea. You don't want to have a lot of subplots going on because you have a very small amount of time to write this in very few words. You only need the main character and maybe only one or two supporting characters. And if your story takes place in about a thousand words or less, it's best to have the whole story take place in one scene. I love writing prompts for short story ideas. You can go to Pinterest or you can Google them. It doesn't even have to be an actual writing prompt. You can just find a picture that sparks your interest. Just pick something that creates a scene in your mind. Next, you'll just start writing. With a novel, you'll need a lot of outlining, you'll need to do some world building, you'll need to um, create your characters and get to know them, you'll have to do a lot of work before you actually start writing. But the great thing about a short story is you don't need any of that. All you have to do is just sit down, start writing, see where it takes you. Make sure that the first sentence pulls in readers right away. This is true for a novel, and this is also true for a short story. If your readers are not intrigued by the first sentence, they won't keep reading. So this is very, very important that it hooks your readers. Introduce the main character right away. By the second or third sentence, readers should know the name of your character and your character's gender. This is a lot easier if you write in third person because you can just give the name right in there, and even if the name doesn't really specify which gender, you'll be using he or she, so that way it makes it very clear. If you write in first person, it can be a little more difficult to um, get their name and gender in there. You'd have to have another character call them by their name. Um, I wrote a lot in first person when I first started doing these short stories, and um, there was one time where I, I never did specify uh, whether they were a, a male or female. So just be careful when you're starting that. You might just want to write in third person to avoid that happening. Within the first paragraph of your story, show what your protagonist wants. All stories require that main characters want something. There's something in life, whatever it is, it could be something simple like a piece of chocolate. And then once you show what they want, make sure to put in a lot of obstacles so they can't just get it simply. So if they want a piece of chocolate, have them go to the fridge, find none there, search the cupboards, search the places that they hide it from their kids, let them, as they're driving to the store to get some, run something over, get a flat tire, then once they get to the store, maybe the store is closed or out of the chocolate that they want. Whatever it is, don't make it simple for your characters to get what they want, otherwise you don't have a story. And the moment your character either gets or fails to get what they want. In a novel, you would still have a couple of scenes to wrap things up, but in a short story, you don't need that. Start your story right before it ends. So in the novel, you have a lot of time to build up to your ending, but in a short story, you just don't have that. 
So you want to start right before your character makes their big move to get whatever it is that they want. In the example where the character wanted chocolate, I wouldn't start the story at the point where she finds her kids have colored all over the walls, the dog's eaten her plant, maybe dinner has burned, all of these things happen and she just wants some comfort food. I might have her think of all those things that have happened as she walks to the fridge to get the chocolate, but that would only take a couple of sentences and not a couple of scenes. Keep the pace fast. You don't want to spend a lot of time describing the location or the characters or throwing in a lot of backstory. You only have so many words, so you want to make it count. Keep everything concise and you want to keep the focus on what's happening in the moment. So those are all of the tips that I have for you today. Next video, I'll be dissecting some of my own short stories. I learned best by example, so I thought it might be helpful for you guys to actually see um, a couple of short stories and have me just kind of do a walkthrough of what to do and what not to do and kind of how to apply these tips that I just gave you today. And maybe next week you'll see my little sleepy dog here too. I didn't have the heart to wake him, so um, yeah, that's not a pillow. That is my dog, Charlie, who's sound asleep. So you'll see me and maybe Charlie next week. Johnny. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> yep. There's his face. <laughs> and he's going back to sleep. <laughs>